You are entering a world. A world of dungeons. A world of dragons. A world of ants. A world where destiny is defined by the dance of a 20-sided dice. A world where maths and storytelling had a baby, and that baby's name is Chaos. Welcome to the world of Dungeons and Comedians. Comedians, I'm your dungeon master, Brendan Bennett. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. How are you all doing? Woo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you all here. Um, first of all, uh, a big shout out to uh, Michael Bell, who composed all of the music for the show. Michael Bell, everyone. Woo! Andrew Keppel, our illustrator and animator, who uh, made all of the visuals here. Uh, round of applause for Andrew. Yeah. Andrew is at this very moment in his flat in Auckland, watching a feed of this show and illustrating uh, what is happening in real time. Um, I know it's so cool. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is actually a, a thing that happens when I'm playing my silly D&D &D game. <laughs> um, uh, okay, a uh, quick question. Um, if you have played uh, Dungeons & Dragons or a similar game before, please make some noise now. <laughs> and enthusiastic about it, that's great. Uh, if you've never played a D&D type game and don't really know what one is, could you make a kind of a tentative noise now? <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, so what's going to happen is, uh, in a moment, I'm going to bring out uh, four uh, performers. They have created characters uh, represented on these character sheets with all their strengths and weaknesses. I will describe a magical scenario. <laughs> and then... When they want to do things, they will have to roll some dice. Uh, generally, higher numbers are better. Um, but as you might have seen from the intro, today is going to be a very special episode. This is our heist-themed episode. So I've changed the rules a little bit to try and capture that Ocean's Eleven feeling. Um, so this is first time experiment. But if it goes wrong, that was what we planned all along. <laughs> um, I'd like to bring out our performers now. Um, so, please, a big round of applause for Tom Eason! <laughs> Fibonacci, a high magic tailor of uh, the fantasy world of Chantabray. <laughs> uh, next, please welcome to the stage, Crystal O'Gorman! <laughs> Specifically, 
a, what am I? <laughs> a professional wrestler! <laughs> Who am I? Who am, who am I? <laughs> Next up, please welcome Raylene Rosalago! tonight because they're going to be knocking over a casino that they should wear dress appropriately and uh, I think they have <laughs> um, <laughs> all right let's think is there anything I need to do um, oh uh, 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 controlling the lights and the smoke machine and all that kind of thing we have uh, James Shearer up in the box around the yeah! Me to, to give oh, a little bit of goofing. Yeah. <laughs> and then I make my escape. <laughs> um, it's time for me to give a little bit of kind of backstory, um, some some context. This these heroes have been adventuring for a little while. They've got themselves in quite a difficult situation <laughs> that they're trying to get themselves out of today. So um, in order to adorable sneeze. This here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Whoever you are. In order to uh, provide a bit of backstory, actually, it would be good if we had a little bit of like appropriate, like backstory music. Mm. Of course, okay. um, of course, of course. Can we get some appropriate, like something, something with a kind of almost a noirish vibe to it? Who could we? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Jazz. Smooth jazz. <laughs> To understand the situation that we're in right now, with the four of you standing in front of a casino in hell, yep. we first need to go back mm. about 50 years. Oh shit, Nit. <laughs> the land of Chanterbury. Chanterbury's greatest hero, Aranon the Unbreakable. She has saved the realm of Chanterbury many times, but she has discovered that there is a threat that not even she can defeat. An ancient god slumbers beneath Chanterbury and soon will awake and devour the world. Aranon realizes that there's only one way to stop this from happening. And so she makes a deal with the devil. Specifically a devil named a devil named Old Ted. <laughs> One of the Dukes of Hell. Whoa. She sells her soul and the souls of any theoretical children that she might have. But she's not going to have any children, so it doesn't matter. So she sells her soul in order to keep Brixico slumbering for all eternity. But then, as she goes on with her life, <laughs> on her adventure, she falls in love. Has a son. <laughs> falls in love. Has a daughter. Falls in love and has a son. Falls in love and has another daughter. <laughs> falls in love and has a a lake creature that we, <laughs> we made up. 
may go into at some point. <laughs> and now, old Ted is ready to claim those souls. <laughs> Unless the four of you can steal back the contract so that your lawyer can find a loophole that will get you out of this situation. Who have we, who's our lawyer? Your lawyer is, of course, the floating skull of Demi Lynch. Scalarup. Scalarup used to be, uh, was one of uh, Aranon's arch nemeses, but when she defeated him, he agreed to serve her in a legal capacity. <laughs> and now, in our last adventure, the four of you journeyed through the first layer of hell, Amoria where, through the means of a reality dating show, <laughs> two of you got married to devils. <laughs> In order to get the hell equivalent of green cards to move to the next layer of hell. <laughs> So, we're now in the second layer of hell, Avaricia. Mm. Avaricia. <clears throat> You're in a bar. Uh, the bar is known as the Limpid Imp. <laughs> <laughs> this bar mm. belongs to your husband, Vivi. Your mm. new husband, yeah. uh, the uh, Incubus. Yeah. Um, known as Lascivious. There he is there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I made, the right, I made the right choice. <laughs> uh, he is behind the bar. Uh, he's a bit of a mixologist, so he's making everyone drinks. It is good. <laughs> um, yeah. Sitting at the bar with you is, of course, uh, Scalar Up, your legal representation. <laughs> and um, Casey, you also got married uh, to... Um, <laughs> So you're on a, a reality show called The Retchula, mm -hmm. and uh, you, which you won. Yes. And as a result, uh, you you married The Retchula, <laughs> who took the form of Shania Twain, <laughs> my so dream woman. You are joined by. <laughs> Says, uh, please, darling, uh, you can call me by my real name now. Which was? Still the one. Still the one. <laughs> You're still, still the one. one. I'm not down. Still the one. <laughs> so, uh, that is her name. Yeah. The bar is closed. It's late at night, and you're all sitting around a table. You've got blueprints and things laid out on the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. As you discuss uh, the mission that lies ahead of you. Um, Lascivious, uh, it's, like, it's like, you know, this is really fortuitous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone tell me what that word means. <laughs> uh, I suppose we could say this is really lucky. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, old Ted, Tedulorus, <laughs> as he's known in the pits. Tedulorus. <laughs> he's making a move to become one of the new princes of hell. He's always bragging about the, the valuable souls that he has, mm. including the soul of Aranon. Mm. So if you can if you can steal that contract, you'll be you'll be striking a blow for the common demon. <laughs> you know these these high and mighty demons that are always lording it over us, working class demons, <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make a soul in this hard life. <laughs> Preach it. <laughs> so, whatever 
whatever still to want and I can do to help. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do. I say, Lysivius, uh, now do we have two separate contracts or is it one contract for Arinon and us also? It's one contract because uh, she signed on your behalf. Ah, I see. Okay. You are Root. unborn at that point. <laughs> Very good. Now, uh, he unrolls the map. Here is old Ted's casino. <coughs> you may recognize it. You have been here before. Ah. Uh, yes. The casino we killed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> A few months ago, you blew up an entire casino. Oh. And, and it went to hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay. You right. sent that casino to hell and here it is. Uh, yes. Wow! Good times, yeah. yeah. Nice. So old Ted, he took that casino, he renamed it from the Casino Regal to the <laughs> Casino Infernal. Mm. Now, in the vault of this casino is a magic mirror that will let you get to old Ted's private office where he keeps all his contracts. Oh, hell yeah. That. In the vault. Yes. But there are a lot of layers to, of security to get through first. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, we're all willing to help you, but between us, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we need about four more. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good number. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe, maybe we need Make sure one of those people is a math guy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I want you to think. Oh, I... Who can you recruit to join our team? Someone you can trust. Someone who's already in hell. So, someone who's either you've seen in hell, or who has died, or for some other justified reason, <laughs> could be in hell. Uh -huh. We've got a few days before we hit the casino, because old Ted's going to be going away to uh, uh, do some wheeling and dealing. Okay. Uh, we want to hit the casino while he's out of town. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, so... Um, have a think. Uh, who do you want to recruit? Uh, so if you just tell me who you want to recruit, then we'll, um, <coughs> I'll tell you where they are, okay. and um, you can try and recruit them to your cause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, does anyone have uh, an idea of who they want to recruit? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, I mean, if you, if you want audience suggestions, <laughs> uh, it Ooh. sounds like there are a few. Ooh. Um, I want to recruit Way back from episode one. Oh, wow. I want to recruit Goldtop. <laughs> so, Goldtop uh, was an old adventuring companion Indeed. of your mother, Aranon. Yes. Um, he, he died. In that, oh, you found him dead in that first episode. Mm -hmm. yep. In his man cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes, logically... Uh, he, he would be in hell. <laughs> <laughs> he is in hell. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, he is, he is in hell, but specifically, we cut to Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, a long, a long table with, uh, like, Viking warriors uh, drinking, oh, uh, eating hunks of meat. Yeah. And there, oh. amongst them, you see the distinctive golden hair of oh, gold top. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. oh man, yeah, he looks exactly Whoa. what I thought he would be. Yeah, gross. <laughs> oh. Can you can you try it? I could try. Alright. There he is. My hands are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. Um Is it just me there? Yeah, let's yeah, just, just, just do it. Uh, I take this, I take this one. <laughs> <clears throat> and I kick the doors and I go. <laughs> Well met, brother! Uh, okay, I want you to make an yes. intimidation roll. Oh! Okay, yeah. Oh, six plus three is nine. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
you kick the door open and it bounces back a little bit, but you manage to stop it. Just in time. <laughs> um, all of the all of the Vikings uh, they stop with their uh, drinking horns uh, halfway to their lips yeah. uh, and look at you. I grab a horn and go, ha, ha, drink hearty, brothers, for tonight we drink in hell. <laughs> hey! Hey! Start drinking. I keep pouring your, pouring your I drink. I kick over a brazier. <laughs> <laughs> I tear a chunk of meat off a pig. <laughs> So you, uh, Amadeus Crumb, the librarian detective. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really dialing, I'm remembering what I've read about macho men. <laughs> <laughs> they kick at the braise, I... <laughs> Binge drinking, <laughs> rip open the pig. <laughs> Uh, so one of the Viking gets up to refill his drink. Uh, so there's an empty seat next to Gold Top. Okay, I sit down there. I go, ha 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 ha! Gold Top, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> he looks up. Do I know you? <laughs> I recognize those eyes anywhere. You're one of Aronon's children. <laughs> that I am. Well pick your keen eagle eyes. Do you justice. <laughs> Aaron, and I, Aaron and I go way back, you know. I got her out of some sticky situations. She relies on me. I want to hear about every single one. <laughs> All right. He then proceeds yeah. to... <laughs> I want you to make a wisdom saving <laughs> In order to try and look interested <laughs> as he tells these stories. And you know how inaccurate these stories are. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Three plus five, eight. Eight. Um. <laughs> and that's when I single-handedly slew Mucinex the dragon. And Aranon fainted at the sight of the blood. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, bro? Uh, mommy! <laughs> Can't handle your mead? I can handle my mead? Shut up! <laughs> what are you even doing here? I've come to hell because I'm... I'm making a team. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, I need a big, strong hunk of a man. <laughs> Where will I find one of those in hell? Right here, Valhalla. Brother. Don't you know, I'm a moody loner who plays by his own rules. <laughs> I don't play well with others. I'm a classic D&D character. <laughs> Listen, there'll be plenty of opportunities to brood where we're going. <laughs> Are you in? <laughs> Make a persuasion roll. Yes. With advantage. Okay, that's good. Because you keep saying brother. Brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Persuasion. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, charisma, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, it's nothing. <gasps> oh, 16. Ooh! Ooh! Ha ha ha! Can I hold my. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. I leave and go. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Who else has someone to recruit? I do. Um, I was just admi like thinking back on them and admiring like how powerful they were as they were able to turn an angel into a sheep or a goat from the last episode. So I think of uh, 
uh, I stalks galore, the beholder. Who was in our last episode and was one of the contestants, and we may have also killed her in that yes. casino. Yes, she was in the casino when it blew up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then went to hell where she then lost a reality TV show. Yes. Um, oh, so yes, I would like to. I, yeah, I, I think she'd be good at surveillance or. <laughs> Something. Yeah. <laughs> our, our, our woman, our monster on the on the mm. keys, on the, yeah. not the keys, the keys? On, the, on the on the on the you know hacker voice. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, she's <laughs> working as a lounge singer in a rundown <laughs> bar <laughs> in hell. Uh, you see her backstage. She's oh, yeah. Sitting in front of the mirror. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of smaller mirrors around <laughs> that her eyes can look into. Um, oh, dang! Uh, Andrew Keppel and I sat down and tried to predict <laughs> who you were going to pick so that uh, Andrew so, could do some illustrations. We're so predictable! So predictable. <laughs> <laughs> dang! <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah. She says, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I, I like. In the reflection, yeah, you she see sees me your reflection in the, in the, in the doorway. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, come to gloat, have you? No, no, man, no. Like you did, like super sick in the last uh, in the episode. episode. <laughs> 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 yeah, in that meant... episode of reality TV, yeah, the yes. Rachel. Yeah. Yes. Now I know you couldn't get this uh, prize, but uh, jeez, oh, I can uh, get you a better prize. Now, I know you fancy that uh, that hunky librarian man. No, I'm not a librarian. I'm not, it's not, I'm a oh, yeah, rock, yeah, 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 rock, rock, rock ledger. <laughs> rock ledger? Yeah, which was... Rock ledger's here? Yeah, man, I got contacts with rock ledger. As we know, is um, <laughs> uh, Amadeus's uh, Elias? <laughs> yep. Yeah. His, his, his uh, tough guy alter ego. Yes. Yeah. Uh, could have been useful. <laughs> yeah. In fact, he, uh, he, he brought me, uh, he told me to go here and, you know, ask you to come join us. Tell me exactly what he said. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear his voice in my ears. Was it Michael Caine? Uh, yeah, Michael Caine. Oh well. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, he he say, oh, give that babe over here. Get that babe over here. The <laughs> <laughs> Don Cheadle of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed uh, to play the bloody dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who says? Oh. Uh, uh, Get that babe over here and get her working. And if he, if she comes here, I will I'll spoil her to bits. I love her like no man's love a beholder before. This sexy thing. Okay, um, you, you seem very in invested in uh, Ice Jokes Galore. Do you, th do you think she would be convinced by that? <laughs> With Rock, rock Ledger. Rock Ledger. Rock Ledger. Rock Ledger. Rock Ledger. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, great. Yeah. All right, then roll, <laughs> roll persuasion with advantage. Okay. Because of that pitch perfect in person. <laughs> persuasion, you said. Uh, 24. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. He can blow my bloody doors off any <laughs> And then oh, she, they got the dice on my side. Yeah. And then she winks at you in sequence. Oh, oh, oh. that takes a while. See you at the casino. I went just one eye because I've got one eye only. You've only got one eye. I mean, two eyes, one to wink. There you go. Maths. We do need a number of guys to do math, man. Please get a, a maths guy. <laughs> Tell Rocky better be ready for me. 
Oh well, yeah. <laughs> and I go back. I uh, do. You, uh, can you be Rock Ledger when we? Oh well, wait. Can you be like Rock Ledger when we do our thing? Why would I do that? Uh, Cause I've got you a date. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a big like teardrop, like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got two recruits so far. What's your one? Um, um, I I want to go and recruit Aaron on herself. Oh shit! Your mother. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Our mother. Yes, she did. Mm. Uh, <laughs> she's she's not dead. She did journey down into hell with, with you oh, yeah. to. Supervise you on the Retula. Mm, yeah. One yeah. of our producers. Um, she is technically, through the laws of the contract, not allowed to go into any lower levels of hell, but she is here. Okay. Um, but she is hiding out in the back room of the Limpid Imp. Um, oh, wow. Ooh. Uh, Such a Valkyrie! Oh she, uh, <laughs> she has like a, a chopping board and some like different vegetables oh. in front of her oh. and she's holding a knife and kind of staring at them. <laughs> mm. I feel like I should be able to make something with this. It's, it's basically like killing someone. Um, Arab non, mum, you doing good there? You just, just haphazardly chopping random vegetables that I don't actually think go together. Okay. Um, you're slightly surprised when she throws the knife and it embeds itself one millimetre away from you. Oh. Sorry, Vivi. Jesus! <laughs> oh! Hi. Um, um, Vivi, like, walks up. She's sits on one of the kitchen counters like a moody teenager um, and kind of just awkward silence for a very long time. Do you like a leak? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a leak. <laughs> <laughs> just a raw leak. Yum. Mm, this is so good. Um, Vivi, I... I want to apologize to you. I, mm-hmm. Firstly, for selling your soul to the devil. <laughs> I thought that would just be the main apology, but pop off was the second one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry that I, I haven't been there for you. Okay. Well, Go. it's not okay. <clears throat> we'll start there. But hey, I. I'm fine, and I'm honestly pretty awesome, <laughs> even without you. <laughs> but I feel like you can right the wrong that you did by helping us get that contract. You know, I, I, I wanted to be there for you. I wanted to not make the same mistakes that my my mother made when she she left me at the temple of seven ways of killing when I was two months old. The seven ways of killing? <laughs> is, that, is that a religion or is that just a way of life, a philosophy? Yes. <laughs> God, you're so cool. <laughs> Since that time, I've dedicated myself to the seven ways of killing. <laughs> Do you want me to ask you what the seven ways of killing are? Or no? Up to you. <laughs> All right, what's the seven ways of killing? The seven ways of killing. <laughs> the fir- Vivi grabs a wine. <laughs> the first way of killing is, of course, by learning. Because the first enemy we must defeat is ignorance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only the warrior that understands themselves and their opponent will win. All right. The second way of killing <laughs> is deception. <laughs> For when your enemy is ignorant of you, oh. then you may defeat them. Okay. The third way of killing is knives. <laughs> 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 because 
is. Uh -huh. Knives are quiet, see? Oh, yeah. And the quieter they are, the more likely you are to use them. Uh -huh. Guns for show, knives for a pro. Cool. Oh, 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 damn! Knowledge. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you said something about needing my help. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like you could do a lot um, from, I don't know, from the back. Like, you're kind of like, you're wanted around here. You're not. Yes. You're, this, is, this contract is about you. Reminder, you wrote this contract yes. because, and now we're in trouble because of it. I'm guilt tripping you right at now. That, at that point, <laughs> Skellerup's uh, flaming skull floats in and says, Yes! That is correct! <laughs> Thank you, Skellerup. <laughs> I agree with your daughter, Aralon. You foolishly saved the world when you could have merely saved yourself. Don't do that again. Right, Vivi? Tell your mother, stop saving the world. Damn. You're not my dad. From down the hallway, you hear. What do you mean you told her I wanted to see her? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'm being moody and I'm being brooding. I'm you did what I'm you sorry. had to do. I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to help us? <laughs> yes, I, I will. I will. I will help you, whatever the cost. Okay. But just be aware uh -huh. that because I'm the one who signed the contract, mm. if I enter the casino, yes, old Ted will know. Yes. So, which is why you're not going in the casino. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, that is fine. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I, I can uh, certainly acquire resources for you to use in the casino. Mm. Is, is that what you were thinking? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Yeah. There's, a, there's a mechanic for it. Um, what? Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to put... What, Aranon? Hmm? Aranon specifically has a, <laughs> a mechanic. A mechanic. Uh, so I'm going to put four tags on Aranon here. Four tags. These are the resources that she can acquire for you. So whatever you need for your heist, she oh. will require for you. Oh. Wow. Great. Okay. okay. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right. Ten. I think we need one more. I think we need one more. I think I've got just the gelatinous cube. Yeah! won the date, actually. <laughs> um, so you're thinking of, of course, Globet, mm -hmm. the gelatinous cube that competed in the Ritula yes. last episode. Yes. Um, so uh, you find yourself on the set of another reality TV show. Of course. Um, <laughs> uh, there, Globet. Hell's, uh, Hell's Best Bake Off. <laughs> yeah. um, you see uh, the uh, um, well, that's dressing room. Mm -hmm. uh, as you're approaching it, it swings open and a and a tiefling storms out in tears. Oh. As, and she she calls back, "You never understood me, and you never appreciated me," and slams the door. <laughs> 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 well, 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 Globet, you sly cube. So you, yeah, you go inside yes. and you see uh, Globet, a large cube of acid, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, gently wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't really tell what direction he's looking or anything, but yes. he seems to be looking at you. <laughs> okay, great. Globet, my old friend, uh, I know we were competitors in the past, uh, but now it's time to come together. <laughs> Globet looks at you questioningly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see you have many questions for me in this moment. Uh, true. I am assembling a team of experts. We are to rip off someone very powerful 
And I know you will be interested in this. We have in need of your very specific, very powerful skills, my friend the gold lobot. <laughs> Keep staring at you. <laughs> well, it's great to have you on board. <laughs> Meet me at the Limp Biscuit. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, I, 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 the, the, the marker on my hand is much. The Limp Imp is kid. The Limp? The Limpid Imp. The Limp the Limpid Imp. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Robert? Robert? Um, yes. You, I think you're going to need to do s mm -hmm. something to convince him. Um, you're gonna have to roll persuasion. Okay. Is there anything that you could do to um, give yourself an edge here? Any, oh. Anything you can. Okay, pile? okay, okay, okay. Blob it. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot to mention in the first bit. <laughs> we are filming a new reality TV show. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> High Store <or> Die. <laughs> oh. Um, and I think uh, you win every competition you're a part of, I've heard. And so I thought you were like to be part of this, sir. <laughs> All right, uh, roll persuasion with advantage. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Uh, 22. Woo! From somewhere inside of Globet, suddenly like it pops out a pair of sunglasses. Which are now like <laughs> sitting on the front of Globet's <laughs> And, um, and then I realize I'm facing the wrong side. I go, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and the sunglasses just momentarily dip down and up. <laughs> oh, <nice>. <laughs> Which <laughs> you understand perfectly. Yeah. Of course. I dip my sunglasses down and up. But... <laughs> All right. So we have assembled our team. <laughs> um... <laughs> So here's, here's how it's going to work. Uh, you're going to go into this casino. I will describe the various security obstacles and challenges in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, in traditional D&D style, try to overcome those with skill checks. However, if you're in a tight spot, you can um, expend one of these resources here to... Uh, to represent that person helping you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you might uh, have a flashback to how they helped you prepare for this moment mm -hmm. or for you arranging with them to interfere at some crucial moment. Okay. So you have this many uh, resources that you can use. The ones with your pictures uh, represent uh, a flashback to you planning or preparing for this moment somehow. Okay. okay. Um, with Aranon, as I said, uh, sh if she joins you, she probably will if you ask, but it will cause extreme complications. <laughs> However, if you want to have something that she has... <laughs> that's fine. Uh, she has prepared for you, uh, then you'll use one of those uh, four resources. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. We good? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. To the limp biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the four of you stride out of the limpid imp nah. okay. through, the, <laughs> through the neon lit streets of hell uh, in Avaricia, the, this level of hell, until you find yourself standing in front of Casino Infernal. In your ears you have uh, <gasps> some, some, uh, some sending stones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you hear Lascivious' voice. Once you, once you go into the casino, you'll need to get access to the VIP area where the other high rollers are. That's the closest place to the security room and the backstage areas. So, you're going to have to do something on the floor to get you into the VIP room. Go cool. on. All right, sick. Easy peasy. Yeah. So you walk in <laughs> through the doors and you see uh, this 
beautifully lit casino uh, with hellish flames all around mm -hmm. um, and then all of these gaming tables. You know, so you see um, a tortured soul pushing a rock tortured up a hill <laughs> and then when he gets to the top it rolls down into a circular oh thing my God. <laughs> in one uh, particular area and there are there are demons and other creatures uh, betting on the results of this. Uh, you see lines of tortured souls with one arm stuck out like this. Uh, and people, uh, again, demons are like pulling the arm down and their eyes spin around. <laughs> Good. Yes. Gross. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Whoa. So you're going to have to do something to uh, get to the VIP area. Uh, you should also be aware that there is security uh, on the floor. You don't want to make the security suspicious. Um, what is a, a word to, th this security has a particular quality to them. What, how would we describe the security in this area? Greedy. Ominous. Ominous. Ooh. There is, there is ominous, so, so the security <laughs> is just black cloaked figures. Jesus! <laughs> Uh, just it, it looming in, in corners and unexpected places. Uh, so you don't want to make them suspicious. Oh, uh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, look around for the pit boss. You'll need to steal his security card. His security card. The pit boss. The pit boss. Yes. You see a pit fiend <laughs> uh, circulating behind the uh, gambling tables, and, like checking everything. He's got a lanyard around his neck <laughs> oh. um, with, a, with a security card. Okay. okay. Mm, cool. Uh, Vivu walking in with the double base case. Ooh. Striding through the, striding right through the casino, making her way towards the stage area. Okay. To try and find uh, the backstage. I'm I'm at the bar, and like, I see Vivi walk past, like, looking good, Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amadeus. <laughs> then I turn back to the bar. Alright, so the backstage area is through the VIP area. Oh yeah. So yeah, first yeah. you're gonna have to I'll find the You're gonna have to talk your way into the VIP area yeah. and then backstage. I would love to talk to the Piffing then. I'll go find him. Okay. Uh, so you see him, uh, yeah, he's there, he's wearing a little waistcoat. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm the only a waistcoat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, a lanyard as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, he's just circulating around, uh, checking. Everything seems to be in order. <laughs> you! Well, hello there. Pit the boss. See, I, I'm, I'm one of the uh, people performing tonight, and I'm, I'm replacing somebody tonight. So they didn't give me a lanyard because it was so last minute of how it happened. Do you mind letting me in the VIP? You're performing in the band tonight. I am. He pulls out a clipboard. <laughs> What's the band's name? Um, <laughs> Limp Bizkit. <laughs> that does sound right. <laughs> Limp Bizkit's performing in <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that they were going classy now, <laughs> getting a double bass. Uh. They're trying jazz. What's that term? They're trying jazz. Limbus gonna trying jazz. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a hellish form. <laughs> uh, Nothing yeah. makes sense. Uh, yeah. I love that free form jazz. <laughs> that so, sinful jazz. Oh, sometimes we play it to the tortured souls. Mm, just yes. waiting for it to start making some kind of melody. It never does. It never does. Never does. Uh, for that specific circle in hell for people who use the word pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> So fortuitous that you're here. <laughs> that means lucky. <laughs> Make a 
<laughs> deception roll. Uh, you just have to beat a ten because uh, he's not he's not suspicious okay. of you. Okay, cool, sweet. So. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, make your way up to the, uh, the stage. Get set up. Can't wait to hear. I'm a big fan of Limp Bizkit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you should <laughs> rally everybody up I will, to get I will. to the stage. Everybody should be. You know, my, you know my favorite song? What? No, you know. I know what your favorite song is. Yeah. <laughs> Flashback to. <laughs> Thank you. Oh Flashback. my god. Flashback to literally five minutes ago. You like, need to tell me. Uh, what? Limp Biscuit. Like, yeah. You I cast disguise self on myself to look like Fred Durst. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, it's gonna be rolling. <laughs> I, I, just behind. Uh, you see him go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fred Durst. Fred Durst. <laughs> we are honoured to have you here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> wow. Rolling! Ha <laughs> ha! Good one! <laughs> Come to the VIP area after the show! <laughs> BB and Amadeus, you walk right through uh, into the VIP area. Okay. Yes. Um, Sweet. Beautiful, like, tables set up. Um, curtains, it's a much, it's a much classier area. Uh, Lots of uh, imps with trays of drinks and things. Mm -hmm. um, so the two of you are in the VIP area. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fibonacci and KC. Three. I'm in the double bass. <laughs> 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 Casino and I go, okay guys, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> um, not to put any pressure on you, but uh, someone needs to get this uh, key card from of course. the pit boss. <laughs> you got it. I do it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so the pet boss is talking to one of the uh, dealers. Like, yeah, he looked right at me and he said, he said, I better get rolling. And I said, I said, Roland's my favorite. That's right, it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> mm. and, then, uh, and then, of course, we talked about, you know, what's your favorite Limp Bizkit album? Yeah, it's um, uh, chocolate star fish and hot dog flavored water. <laughs> <laughs> A solid album. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to duck behind one of the um, the tortured souls with the arm body thing. I walk past, and when I arrive at the other side, I have cast high visibility on myself, <laughs> which is a Fibonacci Fucci invisibility style. But I walk past, and as I appear, I have a hard hat and a high vis vest on. <laughs> because, and so nobody can see me. <laughs> nobody will question me wherever I go. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes, and I walk past, and I, um, as I'm walking past, I set up a ladder next to Pitfin Boss as he's having this conversation, and I climb up <laughs> the ladder. I look like I'm adjusting some kind of torch, burning torch on the wall, and then I get out my tailor scissors out of my, my bomb bag, and then I just snip the back of the lanyard, and I'm gonna catch it with my mage hand, and then come back down the ladder. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yes, you So let's have a sleight of hand check. <laughs> I really thought, so the plan was, I was going to be the, it was going to be a two-person thing where I was going to be a distraction and someone else was going to do the nap. Yeah. So when you try to do it all yourself, <laughs> you roll a natural two, Aww. plus five is a seven. <laughs> So you you snip the lanyard, yes, uh, and then you your hand darts down, but your hand is grabbed. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> what's going on here? 
just a regular. I was like, <clears throat> yeah, just a regular. Uh, just fixing the torch on the wall. <laughs> okay, um, leave it out. <laughs> so we've got one more, one more uh, mechanic. Uh, so. Uh, you don't want to raise suspicion from the security, oh. so to track that, um... Oh, oh no, not this again! The, this is oh. the wine of security. <laughs> the wine of security. If this is emptied, emptied uh, then um, I will be drunk and you... <laughs> <laughs> you will have alerted the security. So. Okay. I'm going to have to babysit you while we're at it. Hey, drink responsibly, Mr. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> now... Uh, he, he's grabbed you, he's looking right at you. Yes. This might be a moment to uh, take advantage of a resource to get your, yourselves out of this. <laughs> Very good idea. Mm. Uh, does it have to be my own? No. Okay. Mm. Help me out, Dean. Help me out. Mm. Yeah. And then, yeah. Just at that moment, Goldtop. Uh, comes into his vision and bowls up to him as we planned. We planned I would get my hand caught and then Goldtop would come up and use all his pretense, all of his entitlement uh, in this moment to lodge a very stern complaint to Pit Boss. <laughs> okay, so... Um, he will say, get your hands off my servant. Oh, oh. Okay, so uh, the pit boss has grabbed your arm and oh. then another arm. <laughs> <laughs> this arm. Hey, what are you doing? Says uh, Goldtop. Mm. Um, oh, oh, uh, t- sorry, sorry. Uh, um, you, you, uh, just, just get back to work, all right? Absolutely, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Very good, sir. <laughs> he, turns, he turns around um, and then uh, Goldtop um, winks at you uh, and then does the, does the handshake. Mm. Uh, you take your hand away and the security card is in your hand. Mm. I wink with both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to know you've got two eyes. <laughs> I say... <laughs> <laughs> I whisper through the sending stone, it's all going off without a hitch. <laughs> right, so, uh, <laughs> go top as a resource it's is dead. used. Okay. okay. If in a dire emergency you use them again, there will be negative consequences. A big sip of wine for Brendan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's actually, 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 should we just keep failing? <laughs> 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 uh, we just need to, so uh, I think with your uh, high visibility, yeah. you make it up into the VIP area as well. <sighs> so, here is the next step, uh, Lascivious oh. tells you. The next part, this is going to be the most uh, complicated. There's two things you need to do. Someone needs to get up into the security office to disable the security cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a party here at the bar. It <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, using that key card, someone will have to go into the backstage area and get into the staff room. Cool. So, those are the two things you'll need to do. Wait. What was the first Plus, thing? Yeah, was was trying, <laughs> one more time. Someone I was still needs to get <laughs> into the security area. You see okay. that, like, there's this office overlooking the entire uh-huh. casino okay. floor. Uh-huh. Okay. That's where they control the security cameras throughout the uh-huh. building. Uh-huh. Those will need to be disabled if you're going to continue with this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And what's the second and thing? And then staff room. <laughs> staff room because staff go room. to the staff, staff room. Staff room. Staff Sorry. security. Staff room. Okay. Staff. Yeah, you need to get back into the backstage area and get into the staff room. Get everyone out of the staff room because that is how the yep. security people, security room people, are going to get down to meet up with you. Cool. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I, okay. I'm glad we went over this in yeah. the tavern. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So uh, a couple of things looking around. So there's the high roller tables. There's also the head of security. Um, uh, she is a head. Mm-hmm. That is floating around with like entrails and organs. Cool. Um, cool. 
trickle down. Ooh, yeah. That's Ooh, cool. yuck. Yeah. Ooh, brother. That's a Filipino thing. Ooh, brother. Ooh, it's a Filipino thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry. Panagalon? Something like that? <gasps> oh, it's like manang... Manananggal. Thank you. Yeah. It's a half torso woman with her entrails, um... Still like hanging out of her, she flies and she eats um, pregnant women and children. Yeah, <laughs> just a Filipino thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. okay. So the head of security is is floating oh, around. Is head of security. Uh. <laughs> uh, off to the side is the the platform where mm-hmm. you are um, getting set up, yeah. um, uh. and then you hear uh, in your ears. I think we have a problem. Uh, what what is the, it? You see, coming out of the backstage area, Fred Durst. <gasps> no! <laughs> uh, I, uh, okay, while the double bass case is behind a curtain, I jump out and I'm dressed up as like the wait staff, you know? I look like a butler or whatever. I've got like this, mm. I grab the nearest tr- uh, tray of wine as I <laughs> w- walk towards uh, Fred Durst and I spill it on him. <gasps> I go, oh, oh man, oh, sorry, man, uh, uh, let me get you changed. And I wink to Fred Durst over here, this one, Amadeus. And I take, I want to take Fred Durst away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> you look at this, this you've spilled wine down him, yeah, and you he, see it's, that his clothes are covered in stains already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's no problem, man. Uh, Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you... I stand up and I say, hang on a second, who is this Fred Durst impersonator? Oh, oh what? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was so, so real, I, I fell for it. Oh, you're right. Uh, the head floats over to you. Is there a problem here? Yeah, this guy comes in here dressed like Fred Durst, thinks he can get up on a stage and get backstage and everything. But this is clearly Fred Durst. And then I come over and I'm like... (laughs) 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 Let's ask them a question that only the (laughs) Fred (laughs) Durst would know. (laughs) (laughs) Name one lyric from a Limp Bizkit song, (laughs) both of you. You go first, and then whoever can do it, they're not the real factors. <laughs> no problem, because I did it all for the Nucky. Oh. 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 I'm going to do things my way. It's my way. My way or the highway. So two, two ominous security guards float up behind Fred Durst and grab him and start dragging him away. No, no, it's not true. It's not true. I go up to the head of security. I'm like, it's embarrassing, man. That's, that's shameful stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this really could be a stain on a reputation if... Uh, Fake, fake Limp Bizkit members <laughs> can get into our casino. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you understand, I understand why he would do it, you know. It's very cool in the VIP area. But it's not worth all of that. You're not from the Infernal Revenue Department, are you? <laughs> Legally, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Well, we run a we run a, a very uh, very safe casino here. Nothing, nothing. She's not gesturing. She's oh yeah, two two intestines. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we, listen. We, <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> or a child. 
<laughs> we run a perfectly bad board casino here. There's nothing yeah. to worry about. Yes. Well, I'll be the judge of that, I suppose. And I just start to saunter around, <laughs> looking at everything, looking at chips. I'm, I'm on stage, like, I'm picking a mic stand, like, overhearing the conversation. I go, get into the security room. I'm almost there. <laughs> What's behind this door? <laughs> this door is to, just to the security security office upstairs. Oh, yes? Everything all ship shape up there? Of course. Is it uh, positively infernal? <laughs> the most infernal, yes. yes why why well, wouldn't it be? Maybe I'll just have a little nosy around, huh? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, you're going to need to make a deception roll. Technically, I'm pretending to be someone else. <gasps> and once I took an acting class. <laughs> <laughs> Will roll with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the power of acting classes. Yes. It's only a twenty-two. Oh. <laughs> uh, right this way, sir. Please. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you'll, you'll see everything is quite correct. Mm -hmm. She uh, scans a card, opens a door. You go up a staircase. So the, you're in this room. There's windows overlooking the. Uh, casino floor and then behind you there are these glowing crystals that show views of the internal corridors and things of the casino uh, and then there is a like keyboard of like different arcane rooms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty good <clears throat> yes thank you <laughs> yes if I can if I can explain anything to you we've got the latest in uh, runic technology here very good in case of an emergency shutdown, for whatever reason, there's some kind of a hypnotic pattern someone casts on the main floor. There's a stop, uh, a stop mechanism to protect people uh, on security. I imagine. Yeah. Yes, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose we'd be foolish not to have one of those. Of course, because then someone <laughs> could come in here and charm the whole security. That's why with that lever there, you just pull that lever and uh, oh, cut off good. all of the cameras and starts an alarm blaring. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because you'd be foolish not to have an alarm to go along with That's it. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, you had, uh, you had uh, some uh, staff who were uh, socially sensitive to noises and flesh and blood, <laughs> because it would be foolish and uh, ableist to... <laughs> Yeah. This is hell. Yeah. We, we would never be ableist. <laughs> and I know this, which is why you have a stop mechanism for the big uh, alarms, and et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to somebody. I'm preaching to the uh, hellish choir. Yes, of course, you just pull that cord there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's great. They're right next to each other. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, uh, stairs are just there. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, and while this is all happening, uh, Casey and I are sitting next to the real inspector, um, just downing, downing him with, like, yeah. drinks. <laughs> please, uh, please, they're like, yeah, have some more. And I'm just there From being like, tell me about your childhood. <laughs> okay, so you are getting the real uh, in, infernal... Distracting the real <laughs> infernal <laughs> revenue director. Sure thing. Um, and I'm saying... Ready in three, mm. two, one, <laughs> and I slip on some entrail juice on the ground, and I go, ah! <laughs> and I collapse upon both the lever <laughs> and the full cord. Go <laughs> go. <laughs> all the all of the screens shut down. Mm. Oh. I'm so sorry. What happened? Oh no! <laughs> Just. <laughs> This is terrible. It'll take us half an hour to start this up again. Oh, what a strip hazard. <laughs> a sleep hazard. <clears throat> I, I am a person. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I will now run back downstairs, as you suggested. <laughs> Okay, the, 
so the security cameras are down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you now you have the key card to get into the back room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are two ominous guards standing in front of the the door mm-hmm. in the keypad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, dressed as the waitstaff still and with the key card, uh, I walk up and I say, oh, "It's all right, man. I, I got to get through." And I just walk right through. <laughs> Okay, make a deception yeah. roll. Yeah, deception. Ugh. Ugh. Four. Oh. <sighs> uh, so the, uh, the ominous figure uh, looks at you as... <gasps> Why go backstage when all must die in agony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Uh, uh, hey man, I, I, okay, it, it's really important. I gotta get in. The big guy's on my ass right now. Come on, let me through, let me through. Um, and in that moment, I take out a, um, a stick that does like a big flashing light, um, which I have taken from Aranon. Uh, okay, so you I'm asked Aaron on to for acquire... an LED torch. So I, I, <laughs> I, I, just a very I, put on, light. I put on like tinted glasses and oh my God. it blinds them. <laughs> Men in black saw, you know. Okay. Uh, the two, the two you asked Aaron on for a neuralizer. Should <laughs> have it. She's resourceful. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make um, saving throws for the two ominous guards. Um, one of them passes. One of them fails. One of them staggers back, blinded. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> what was that light? It was... They say that you see a bright light before you die, but I'm already dead. <laughs> yes. But you did you know that in hell you can die again and go to the next level? <laughs> it's your time. Make a religion... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got this? Religion. You got this? A 16! You're they're giving calling. me much to think about. <laughs> yeah. They're... I must journal this immediately. <laughs> uh, so the, one guard is blinded, the other one is le- leaving to write in his journal. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're through the door yep. uh, and into the backstage area. Mm-hmm. Are the, the other th- three of you going with? Yes. Um, I want to cause a commotion. <laughs> well, not a commotion, but I do want to discreetly tell like a guard being like, I'm very sorry, but the man at the bar tried to steal my purse. I recommend you get all the guards and just go over there and uh, handle you, that. Who are you? Uh, the real investigator. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, sorry, um, <laughs> the real people arrested. <laughs> God damn it. F- firing a neuralizer <laughs> uh, or a bright flashing light in a casino, I think, is, is going to some suspicion. Oh, okay. <laughs> I put it away. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Brendan's getting in. Brendan's getting fun tonight. <laughs> okay, uh, persuasion? Please. Nat 20. Woo! <laughs> um, he needed it. I really terribly, utterly sorry. <laughs> but you need to help me. I, I am just... Poor, poor innocent woman. I'm just a woman. I can't do anything on my own. <laughs> and now the man tried to take my purse. I say as a six foot two dragonborn. <laughs> we will see it done. Then there's like a, suddenly there's like spotlights on this figure at the bar. And um, like demons, devils start like rappelling down from the ceiling. <laughs> He's thrown onto the ground and hang <laughs> um, You hear like a tank rolling up outside. <laughs> go, 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 go! We got him. <laughs> the four of you make your way through the, the, the security door into the backstage area. You're in the corridors, uh, weaving through the corridors according to the plans you know, and then you see ahead of you, blocking your way, a corridor. Mounted on the sides of a corridor, a series of wands, each wand firing a beam. The beams are moving erratically. Is there any way to get through? We will find out in the second half of the show.
Welcome back to part two of Potions 11. <laughs> Our heroes have infiltrated a casino in hell. Effortlessly. <laughs> uh, like most D&D games, it's mostly references to 2000s era and uh, uh, So... <laughs> Uh, our heroes uh, have gathered together a team to help them uh, do this heist. So just to remind them, so they have, uh, you have Scalar up, yes. mm-hmm. the Demi Lich lawyer. Uh, you have uh, Globet, <laughs> the <laughs> Delantis Cube. You have your mother, Aranon the Unbreakable, who can acquire equipment for you. You have Lascivious, My the husband. Incubus. Ow. Although, <laughs> turns out the... In that couple, maybe you're the more seductive of the two. Uh, Gold top, we've, we've used uh, Ice Stalks Galore, the Beholder. Um, we have Stildewan, the, uh, the Duchess of Hell, uh, who uh, takes the form of Shania Twain. Um, obviously. Um, and then you have, of course, your, the resources that you yourselves uh, have to bring to bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we also, of course, have the amazing Michael Bell. Hey. Hey. Now, we left you uh, in a corridor facing a series of wands uh, casting beams of laser-like light across a corridor. It looks exactly like that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Dang! What do you do? Um, flashback <gasps> to uh, days before and like the, pa- the week leading up to this mission. Mm. And I am wherever we are in the garage or in like the basement or in an attic uh, or the inn. Um, I am training and I'm practicing my, my acrobatic skills, you know? I'm putting headphones in so I can really break dance and jive and get my body moving. So I've really buffed myself up for like being flexible and going through lasers. Okay, perhaps there was someone who helped you. Maybe they were like holding out sticks yeah. to represent the lasers moving. Uh, who, who helped you with this? Ah. Aranon made like a, a practice. Oh, made a, made a oh. fake yeah. laser uh, course yes. for you to practice on. Yeah. The three of us are lounging on crates in the background. Hey. <laughs> you know, I do forward rolls and do then... Do it again. Oh, I jump over it. It's like Catherine Zeta-Jones in Entrapment. <laughs> Shows my age. <A's. laughs> this is about the same era as Limpet. <laughs> Really got out. That's where my knowledge starts and ends. <laughs> um, that will give you advantage on this acrobatics check. Yes, nice. Yes. As you weave your way between the lasers. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Does it beat 15? Uh, uh, 9 plus 9? <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh, I am really good. <laughs> You did it. Yes. So um, I'm tumbling. I'm, we we I'm, cut from a montage of you training uh, seamlessly into you doing yes, the uh, real thing. Yeah, and we found out the best way to get through is if I'm using my best skill, which is Kitty, my skateboard. Mm. You know, so I'm doing tricks and I'm skating off the wall and I'm wow. popping it and I'm like lying on it and it goes <laughs> for a moment, <laughs> like you know, in a mechanic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So we cut we cut between the practice and the real thing, and then we cut back to the three of you watching uh, as and it keeps going again, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> again. And finally, Aaron says, "I think you've got it." You make it to the other side of the lasers. Fine. <laughs> inset into the wall is a button that then disables the lasers for everyone else to get through. And I look over. I think, "Come on, let's go." Let's go! <laughs> you're, still, you're still French? Still French, Durst. I'm oh, good! So, uh, the audience sees three heroes and Fred Durst. <laughs> Fred Durst is a hero. <laughs> um, you have to tell me how you get your jeans so baggy. <laughs> now, <laughs> things are going to get more dangerous from here. Yeah. In the next room, 
are the are the bodies of great security guards of the past, oh. forced to serve out their time here guarding old Ted's treasures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so um, through the like, there's a little window of in the next door, yeah. and yeah, you can see uh, there are like six the six security guards mm -hmm. from different like ages past Why? like a like a you know like a a, a, a guard leading on a spear mm. to like a english bobby um to like a, <laughs> mm. uh, on, yep. and, uh, and and five others uh, <laughs> <laughs> and five more here yeah. brendan named seven things <laughs> impossible challenge <laughs> you have more ways of killing <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so how are you going to get past these um, mm. security guards? Mm. Good question. <laughs> we figured this, remember, we figured this out in the plan. Yeah, you've yeah, got a plan yeah, for this. Absolutely. Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? where... <laughs> <laughs> Searching oil. <laughs> Just go in and beat them up. <laughs> we just want to just kick the absolute heck out of them. You absolutely, I mean, you could, yeah. Great. Uh, cut to the inside of the room, and the door just shoots off with a thunder wave, and I'm standing there as a silhouette in an absolutely fabulous pose. And I cast thunder hear, wave through the door. Uh, so they're, they're like thrown back against the wall, and yeah. then you hear, Who goes there? Hello, hello, hello. Who's, who's that? <laughs> And then, like, three other things. <laughs> <laughs> three other things other that other they, they would say. Guys, I think there's actually only three guards in here. <laughs> Easy! <laughs> yeah, when the dust clears, you see there's only three of them. <laughs> oh. um, so they, they have, like, staggered back mm -hmm. uh, from your thunder wave. Incredible. What, you could like you could try and rush through, or you could try and fight them. What do you, want? you know what? I will try and rush through. Thank you. <laughs> like <this. laughs> okay. Um, make make uh, athletics checks. Um, at least two of you need to get over a twelve. Pity. Oh. Athletics. Oh, fourteen. <gasps> I get a minus one, but I also got a 14. I got the dirty 20. Oh. All right, you... Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Vivi, you, you scoop Fred Durst up in your arms like the, like the bodyguard, and uh, <laughs> you, you run, pushing these security guards to the side. You slam the door behind you. Of course, uh, you have a... Brought yourselves to the attention of security. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Only a few more obstacles to get through. Oh my gosh. The next door <laughs> is a boulder that's been rolled across the corridor. Tied to the boy the the the, the boulder mm -hmm. is a body like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um How Vitruvian. <laughs> How fortuitous. That means Milwaukee. That means Milwaukee? Yeah, that's a, that's a stay in Milwaukee. <laughs> uh, yes, you see, uh, this, this figure has like a gash out of his side. Oh. Damn. And he's going, ah! <laughs> Do we recognize? <laughs> no. <laughs> make a <Jesus>. medicine. <laughs> no, make a well, make a religion roll. I okay. guess. <laughs> Let's find out if Jesus is canon in D and D. No, it's an eight. Maybe it is. It's a B one. You don't. Know. <laughs> um. Wait. Do we recognize this figure? No, no, it's not someone you've met before, as far as you can tell. Uh, All right. Only in here and in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you allow yourself to meet him, you can meet him. <laughs> Fuji is religious canon. 
I'm a good Christian boy. Uh, there's a, I guess as an Italian, um, yes. you, you hear, um, you hear, uh, someone Maybe up above you. Could be Mary uh, Magdalene, someone? I suppose. <laughs> The Holy Ghost? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> is, and there's a, the guy's on this guy. He's trying to a boulder. He's on a boulder yeah. and the boulder's blocking. The, bo- the boulder is blocking your the, way. The way. Yeah. yeah. Can we, can we yeah. all just work together and push the boulder with him still aside? Like, okay. on it? Yeah? Yeah. Excuse me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they got the imagery a little bit mixed up, but I think we rolled a stone. I think that's part yeah. of it. <laughs> um, do you want make strength check? Um, I'm also gonna, uh, as Fred, no, make- I'm also gonna go, ah, give me stuff to break! And he's gonna start like punching, punching it. Just like punching the body. Yeah, with all his limp biscuit rage. The body? Ah, 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 no, the boulder! The boulder! <laughs> Not the body, the boulder! <laughs> You've never heard we punch the boulder to get it out of the way. boulder. Obviously. <laughs> the boulder does not move. Oh. Oh, of course. He's still punching. Ah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. So if we all push him, we all do strength? Or it just does not move anyway? It's just not doing its thing. It's not budget. Jeez. Mm. You want to make some kind of roll to try and understand what's going on? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What do you think would be? What do you think would help you understand this? Oh, it's D and D supplies you with many different skills hey, um, that yeah. you can apply when you don't understand the situation. Oh, okay. Med, um, survival. No. <laughs> Performance. You, what? Performance. <laughs> yeah, is this like? No oh, performance. <laughs> is this some sort of like art piece that we are just missing? Like. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. I do an art house piece right in front of him <laughs> to see if he can move. He, he, he opens his eyes. Is this more torture? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was beautiful and artistic. There was a theme of like rebirth and something. A sacrifice, maybe. You wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Anything about sacrifice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do we get through? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, um, surely flashback. Oh. oh. <laughs> Where um, <laughs> I am just. <laughs> Out with it. I'm ha- actively researching what the hell is going on. <laughs> Spot of the next. Okay. Who- this- who do you think could tell you what is going on? Oh, uh, surely lascivious. Surely yeah, lascivious. lascivious. He, he knows he's, torture. He's a cultured man. <laughs> he knows torture. <laughs> he knows people who get binded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he, he knows, knows that. Yeah. People get he tied knows up. Things. He right. knows things. He knows things. A romantic night between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> uh, lascivious is whispering sweet nothings to you. No. Uh-huh. You know, there's so many, so many things in hell. You know, there's a. Uh-huh. This guy, sometimes we chain him to a boulder and then <laughs> an eagle comes down and pulls out a spleen. Oh, yeah. Flies away with it. It's, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that is that is very hilarious. If one There's was if one was meant to move that boulder, how would <laughs> how, how how would one like me, beautiful Vivi, would move that boulder? Well, surely just a look from your eyes is enough to move me. <laughs> Goodness! No, but really. <laughs> I mean, you'd probably want to return a spleen to his body. Oh, yeah. Once he's whole, the boulder will roll. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of rock and roll right there. <laughs> Hey. Now, here's a, here's a CD I've got. <laughs> 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 and he puts on some Limp Bizkit. Chocolate starfish. Yeah, do a flaming water. <laughs> Why did this get so derailed? <laughs> My Limp Bizkit. <laughs> Show of hands, who knows who Limp Bizkit is? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Okay. You don't need to be ashamed about 
<laughs> it's vintage this, now. This all happened because you mispronounced. <laughs> <laughs> It's because the name sounded like another name. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, back to the present. You see, mm. circling above you, an eagle with a spleen in its claws. If we could get that distracting bird out of the way, uh, I could yeah. think. I, I get my hand crossbow and... <laughs> Actually, that works. Make an attack roll. Yeah, let's go. If I, if I was hiding beforehand, does it count as sneak damage and advantage <laughs> as a rogue? All right. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, 16 plus 6. Yeah, you hit the eagle. And it uh, falls to the ground at your feet and a spleen goes. Ooh, yuck. Oh. Uh, Vivi, what are you doing? Lesevius told me about the thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I feel whole again, and the eagle's dead. Thank you, thank you so much. This is, this is, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the, stone, the stone has rolled aside. It must be Easter. <laughs> It has rolled indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you see ahead of you the vault Ooh. for the casino. You can see piles of gold. Ooh. And in amongst it, you see a mirror, mm -hmm. which you know will, it creates a portal to old Ted's private office where he keeps his files. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Right. Okay, this is it. So close. Now don't touch anything in case anything is like, you know, got a tripwire or something. Okay. It'll alarm people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just, okay. Walk, just walk like this. The whole time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do we know walk if like all this. of us can go through or is it just a uh, job for one? You could all go through. Uh, I think to represent the, this, yeah. let's all roll stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, go on. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's come fine, that's on. fine, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, beautiful. 15. Natural 20, 22. 12. 12. <laughs> okay, so you get halfway across the vault when you hear a uh, kind of. <laughs> you smell a little smoke. Oh. And you see, <laughs> toiled around a pile of gold, a oh. dragon. Make a history check. Uh, <laughs> Far out. Armadas, um, you get advantage on this one. Oh, okay. Just a five. Oh, Only Armadas. Um, <laughs> Dang you! What was it? History. History. <gasps> I'm gonna make a performance. History, 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 history. history. <laughs> I got the 21. Oof. I got the 13. I got a five. I got a nine. This is Mucinex the dragon. Mucinex. Mucinex. What you don't remember yeah. is Gold Shop bragging about killing Mucinex the oh, dragon. Oh, that's right. But we know that Aranon slew Mucinex, mm. so it makes sense. Ah. Mm. So now the Mucinex is dead now guards old Ted's treasure vault. It hasn't noticed you. Oh, yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you you make your way quietly to the mirror. Yes. You can see the mirror is uh, like through the mirror rather than your reflection, you see an office, kind of messy desk, filing cabinets, all those kinds of things. <laughs> this is going to be so good for the podcast. <laughs> We did a bit uh, where we, uh, we we could not count down from three properly. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you'll you'll leap into the mirror? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Heedlessly leaping into the mirror, this magical portal that you know nothing about. Uh, I want you all to make intelligence saving throws. Oh. Eleven. Dang nine. Seven. Uh, Twenty-two. <laughs> Um, so, as you travel in the space between the two mirrors, you feel like you're being pulled about by like a, a rushing wind. And you see all around you like other uh, like openings from different mirrors. And you feel you're being dragged away towards another mirror which leads out into a hellish pit of flames. Amadeus, you're able to guide yourself through uh, to the correct place, but you see your siblings start to be pulled away into yeah. the void. No! Uh, because I'm still Fred Durst, yes. and I have yes. the largest genes <laughs> in the multiverse, the largest genes the in the multiverse, <laughs> I whip them off and go, <laughs> fling out my genes. I'm gonna. I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it to you if you agree that Aranon uh, prepared special reinforced yes. genes. Yes. <laughs> Ex- Extendo genes. Yeah. Just polyester. So yes, the three claps uh, into this office, uh, and you feel yourselves actually now. You're kind of moving, rocking, rocking back and forth. Mm. Altet's office is actually a train carriage. Oh. oh six. Uh, so you see uh, his desk, there's papers all over it, there's filing cabinets around. Um, what what do you want to do? Do you want to look at things? Do you want to just go straight for the... We've seen this train before. In episode three. Yes! <laughs> do I remember, oh. can I think of something as it uh, came out of like a hellish portal and then disappeared? Do I remember any labels on the carriages that say... The office carriage, <laughs> etc. Uh, no, but you are you are in the office carriage. Oh, very yes. good. Oh, it very is good. old Ted's hell train very good. Uh, that he uses to get up and down. When I look out, just out of interest, do we see the vista? Where are we traveling through? Yeah, train? you're you're traveling through a hellish landscape. Very good. On one of the even lower levels of hell. Ooh, Ooh. nice deep. deep. Oh, nice. I rummage through some files. Okay, investigation rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Only a 15. 18. Uh, 8. 23. Oh! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here it is! <laughs> So yeah, you're looking. You're looking around his, his desk. There's all you know correspondence. There's um, his like vision board, um, <laughs> explaining his plans to becoming one of the three princes of hell. Okay. Um, mm. And you go through the, the filing cabinet, straight to A, uh, mm. where you find uh, the the contract that he signed with Aranon. Mm. It's written in complex infernal legal jargon. Mm. You know, if you can get this to scale up, then. Oh. Yeah. He'll be able to decode it for you. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else you want to look for uh, while you're in here? Mm-hmm. Oh, is there else? Oof. 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 Mm. I will look mm. for uh, if there are any um, spell scrolls. No? Please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just like, um, what did you roll? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, you find a spell scroll. Yes! <laughs> Guys, I found a spell scroll! Dope! <laughs> What's it say? What is it? Um, well, let's, um... <laughs> oh! What does it say? Let's just, uh, yes. add a uh, spell scroll as an option for you. Yes, I'll put it here next to my, my sword. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll Okay, okay. okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. Here we go. All right, uh, and then uh, you hear, well, well, well. I uh, wasn't expecting guests. <gasps> the door to the crane carriage opens, and you see oh, dang. old Ted. Oh, oh dang! Shit. 
I had this spell scroll when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in a zip. Um, he uh, he touches a, a gem uh, implanted in the in the wall, and you all feel yourselves being held in place. Whoa. <laughs> After all the trouble I went to, you delivered yourselves right to me. All four of Aranon's children, right here. I might as well just claim your souls right now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> you! Here's me! <laughs> you walk over to you. You don't look like one of Aranon's children. <laughs> It's me, Fred Durst! <laughs> <laughs> and then a flashback to... Did it my way! My way of the highway! Take him away! No! And then the guards take Fred Durst away. And then we're walking down the hallway and it's like... <laughs> and it's Amadeus, and then the robes drop down, and it's Globet and Skellera. Flashback. Another one! <laughs> and Amadeus is sitting with Fred Durst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Durst, here are expandable jeans. <laughs> also, I assure you, inside the vault, there's all the nookie you could have. <laughs> Okay, so we're now, uh, so following Armadeus, Scalar Up, and Globet. Yeah. Um, so, oh, gosh. Uh, they were being, you were being taken to the security yes. uh, lockup area. Yeah. Um, but instead, the three of you go further along um, to where old Ted's train. Is being uh, the security is being upgraded before he takes off. Yes, and we 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 uh, we knock out three guards <laughs> <laughs> and put on their uniforms. Yep, Glover yep. just um, <laughs> just absorbs the uniform and it's just kind of floating yeah. inside. <laughs> just absorbs the whole guard. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the train carriage. Uh, so, oh no. Um, <laughs> old Ted is walking up and down, confident that his security system has you being held in place. But of course, you know that the security system is not working and that you are pretending to be held in place. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what am I to do? <laughs> I'm just a woman. <laughs> I'm nothing more than that. <laughs> well, he was spending too much time with Gold Top. Come on. <laughs> Perhaps I'll okay. take mercy on this one. Dog. Why don't you just call down your mother? Oh. It's her soul I want most of all. She's my ticket to being a prince of hell. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Vote call it. Just give her a call. Oh, um, wait, we have uh, settings. Wait, this no, This is Aaron on inventing the cell. Thank you! <laughs> Mum! You're really calling her. It's time for you oh, to thank come you here. Thank you so much for calling her. So, so worried you wouldn't call. 
I really appreciate it. Oh. I also, I appreciate you. We're actually stuck here. And I really hate to say it, but I need your help. I'll come and help you, but <coughs> because I signed that contract, old Ted will know. I know. All right. Mm -hmm. say, say hi from, mm -hmm. from Fuji. Oh, Fuji says hi, oh, by Fuji the way. Then. And so, so does Casey. Um, I would say... Um, Frick Durst! <laughs> <laughs> Fred Durst as well. Yeah. Okay, well, definitely hard to say hi to KC anyway. Okay. I'll see you soon, right? Yeah, so I'll be I'll be right down. Cool. Flashback. <gasps> so one thing that we know about the Retchler <laughs> is that they can shape shift mm. into different people. Why not utilize that in this very moment <gasps> for her to disguise as Aranon oh. and trick <clears throat> old Ted into thinking Aranon really came when in actuality still the one. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> That's so rather what I was going to say. <laughs> through the through the mirror, suddenly Aranon appears. Oh. No, Mama, you should not have come. It's too dangerous. Yes. Mother, you shouldn't have come. And we are all trapped magically. Mm. <laughs> I can't move. Mm. No. Mm. Mm. All right, old Ted, you win. You can have my soul. And uh, at the door is. What's all this? What's all this? <laughs> <laughs> my security guards. <laughs> oh. Where she is, boss. Let's take her away. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you, security guard. Oh, come on, mate. Ages. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and the, oh, yeah. So, so you drag Aaron, Aaron on away. Yeah. 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 Well, yes. what, what do you want us to do with these? The slot. There's <laughs> <laughs> a baton. <laughs> I don't need them anymore. Throw them out into the fires. <laughs> Whoa, wait, as, as this is happening, I say, into I have reached up into my sending stone ear with one hand, with one finger, and with the other hand, I am unzipping a pocket, and uh, I say three, two. <gasps> oh, wait, so wait, th wait, three, <laughs> two. My zip gets stuck. One, go, and I unzip, and a quicker unpicker shoots out of my pocket, yeah. and I cast shatter on the side of the train just behind old Ted, and it unstitches reality, and all flyboards, uh, yeah. uh, the boards on the side, and the metal and the glass go <laughs> upwards into the ocean, and I go, go! Oh, and then I put my finger into my ear, and I say, take him down, and flashback <laughs> to, <laughs> as the shatter, uh, the shatter occurs, and there's like, like a giant hole now on the other side, you see, it like the camera zooms like oh, di quite a distance away oh my to uh, eye stalks galore, yes! who with her sniper vision does a death ray straight, <laughs> straight to Ted. Okay, so <laughs> the, de the death ray completely surprised. The death ray hits old Ted square in the chest and goes flying back against the wall and slumps down, smoke rising from the hole that is uh, burnt in his torso. Um, and I still says, well, we better go. Hop on. <laughs> <laughs> and we jump on her back? Yeah, you jump on her back. Um, where's, where's Rock? Um, Fred Durst? Yeah. <laughs> you never returned my calls. <laughs> this near death experience has really made me rethink my life. <laughs> I don't think I gave our, our relationship a chance. <laughs> this is the real Fred Durst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, and she flies you back through the mirror, um, back through the casino and out to safety. The contract is safe in your hands. 
In all of our hands. Yeah. For <laughs> well, the podcast, no, 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 we cut to uh, all of you now relaxed, uh, standing, uh, yeah, with drinks in hand in the limpid imp. Um, Sorry, watch, watching a fountain, like. Psh. Yeah, there's a fountain of yeah. flames. Um, Fred Durst and I stalk Scalora making out. <laughs> yeah, <good>. uh, <laughs> Young love. <laughs> All right. Um, we're just gonna. Is there anything you want to say? Um, because in a moment, uh, we'll wrap this up and I'll introduce the next episode. So if we can get the slide ready for the next episode. Oh. Oh. Who was it called? And the... um, so anything you would like to do oh. right here at the oh, end of your Oh, where's the contract? To celebrate. Oh, yeah. To celebrate. Uh, so celebrate. in the corner, Scalar up uh, with um, like glasses like balanced on his nose is um, frantically reading through the contract. Um, yeah, what, anything you'd like to do or say to, to celebrate a successful heist? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Guys. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, you son of a bitch! Um, are we. Do we have the slide? Don't show it yet. Do you don't? Oh. What have we done? <laughs> Uh oh, damn, damn. This is a video from Fred Durst. The real Fred Durst. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, Scalar up looks at you and says, uh, "I've read through the contract and I believe that there may be a way to get you out of it, but you're going to have to confront Old Ted once more." He's not dead. <laughs> you think a death ray could kill? Yes! Duke of Hell! <laughs> that was the plan and the research! <laughs> it's a death ray! You've weakened him. Oh. But he's still going to be on his on the lower levels of hell, trying to make himself one of the three princes of hell. To get there in time, you are going to have to drive like hell. <laughs> <laughs> You've traveled through the realm of Amoria. You've traveled through the realm of Avaricia. Oh my gosh. But now you must travel through the next layer of hell. Australia. to the end of our adventure so uh next adventure uh will be our mad max themed episode I couldn't think of a pun. <laughs> so please come and join us on June 2nd. Um, that will be Dungeon Master by Kieran Searle. Yeah. Right, uh, a big thank you to everyone involved. So uh, Michael Bell. Yeah. James Shearer on lights. Uh, Andrew Keppel, our Pictomancer. Quick shout out if you'd like to support Andrew in his animation work, uh, you can go to his Patreon, which is uh, here at his patreon.com slash too much spare time. Uh, you can support him. He's working on an animated series called Papa Paleolithic. It's amazing. Um, yes. <laughs> and finally, uh, our amazing adventurers, a big round of applause for James Cooper! Yeah!